I see I'm still in my Black Panther gear. I, you know, I don't have Black Panther gear, really. But um, uh, especially now, Black Panther, in the, in the trailer that we just talked about in the, in the last uh, uh, dispatch, uh, he has a really great hoodie on him. I mean, there's something about that hoodie. I, I, I got to get that. So there's going to be a lot of merchandising around that. And by the way, that's how film companies really learn, earn their money. So I hope all these black actors are getting, you know, to get the action figures, you know, to get a little cut of that, you know. And let me tell you how I learned about that. This is very interesting. Um, uh, not going into too many details, but I met the who was the, the uh, executive secretary, you know, personal secretary of Walt Disney one time, old lady. And you know, he was just, we were just chatting. And I said, well, you know, Mickey Mouse, you know, he must have made some money off that. She said, ah, she said, ah, he never made any money off that mouse. It was all in the merchandising. You know, the, the way you say merchandising, you know, she was, was just talking about all the paraphernalia. So, you know, a lot of these companies, you know, when they, when they do these kind of films, they make money off of the merchandising. I like, like the poster that first came out, you know, there was, there's a poster of Black Panther. Which reminds me, remember last when I talked about uh, a Black Panther uh, character being created in 1966, as well as a Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, also emerging in 1966. To be fair, just don't don't get it wrong. Remember, Stan Lee and, 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 and uh, Jack Kirby, what his name? They they uh, they 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 launched uh, Black Panther in, in the summer of '66. You know, I went there before, and Panthers uh, in, in California, you know, San Francisco State, State College, you know, with Huey Newton and uh, Bobby Sidhu, the rest of the crew, crew didn't um, then start to really uh, didn't emerge until October of '66. Um, so anyway, uh, well, this is the first poster they have uh, Black Panther in that you know in that throne chair, you know, and as you all know, Huey Newton, you know. There was the famous thing where he had this beret and he was in that chair, that, that straw chair, like the throne chair with the spear or whatever, like that. So so we can see, like, uh, I know people are going to make these connections, so you can make the connections if you will. But talk about fashion, that, that's the whole thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just say something about fashion. Uh, uh, at least when they first, that first scene uh, when, when they're wherever he's going to be, you know, baptized and or whatever as, as the king before we get to Wakanda proper. Uh, uh, there's so much colorful African fabric and, and Afri just all layers, whatever happened. Even the, the brother that was in Ghost Dog that played the ice cream guy in Ghost Dog, he's in there, he's got the, he's got the lip plate like, like that, um, I forgot the name of name of uh, name of the culture of the tribe that has a little bit there's all kinds of African is 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 uh, is represented in, in the film which is like really good. Well for what I see in the trailer. But what I need to say about about this whole thing is that what people understand South Africa right now, uh, and by the way, uh, uh Chadwick Boseman the, the the cat that's playing Black Panther, he he's inflecting a somewhat of a of a Tosa, you know, uh, like a Tosa accent, you know, or, or you know, informed by Tosa culture. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, 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 what's interesting is that South Africa right now, as far as or African f um, fashion, is like the bee's knees, as they say. I mean, my wife's a designer, and she's got you know, she's she's got some amazing fabric because we the colors that she used, the color combinations that she uses, like really amazing. So that's going to hit. African fashion is going to be huge when this film comes out. I think um, the whole blending of cultures again, you know, uh, of the the Black Panthers is um, is educated in Europe as well as the United States, and he's you know he's, he's uh, king in Africa, which is like a lot of African leaders are, do that route. Um, Anyway, but the point is, uh, so this this bringing together of of, of uh, uh, Africans, let's call it African in, in the diaspora as well as Africans on, on motherland. You know, this includes all those Africans, all, all those uh, folks from from Britain and you know all the rest of that stuff. Okay, I got some list down. Make sure I don't mess up here. It's a paper bag. Uh, uh, so I get, get the fashion thing. Oh, the thing um, uh, before. Let me just say about the music. The music in the trailer, like again, some, if you look at all these reactions to the trailer, most of the brothers, they are, they, they mention the music or they enter the music. It's like amazing. And uh, I think the music is by uh, Run the Jewels, uh, the, the Atlanta hip hop group. But it's really, I mean, it's just, there's one point that says it's about the spotlight. I think it's from the, this musical Legend, something, I don't know. Anyway, it's for, it says spotlight. As soon as they say spotlight, then they show Michael, you know, B. Jordan. And, and like, uh, 
and uh, you know he's from the wire and you know but you know and they, they they keep on saying they don't say the wire they mentioned creed and also fruitville station uh, which has brought the, the director and him together and the ryan crew and him together but what's interesting uh, to me about that whole that whole thing is that as soon as he's there they everybody recognizes he's got the little lock or whatever have you so uh, you know between him the other recognizable face people see they always say angela bassett really amazing you know um, they just recognize Angela right away, so she has cachet in the, in the black community. Of course, Forrest Whitaker is playing a, what's called a mystic, a, a mystic kind of person. Uh, anyway, uh, so so the fashion is just really everybody has a distinct thing. Is, is the fashion is so varied and wide? It's like amazing, you know. Uh, the last thing I should say about the fashion. Da -da -da, the last thing oh, I, I, I said the fashion, but I went to the music about you know running jewels or whatever. Um, so that's a really smoking, you know, like like song. Or ones who's gonna do the whole over? You know, there's there's, there's the music of the thing, and then there's your your score. So I want to see who's gonna score the film. And I guess I can look it up. And the last thing that I want to mention, it's interesting because there's so there's such a it's a huge black cast, you know, um, that. A lot of times when, when black people ascend to higher levels, there's nobody on their level that they can um, hook up with, or maybe they can, but they end up uh, and, and, and you know, doing a lot of alliances with, 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 other, with other cultures. Okay, let me be straight, white people. And so there's a big thing of, you know, black women say, oh, they're leaving, uh, 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 the, the whole thing. Because I said, but this is, I'm, you know, I've been on film sets, I work film sets, and there's a lot of hookups. So it's going to be very interesting in the future what kind of hookups uh, um, happen, you know. So I just want to do this ancillary thing because like, these are the things on my brain I want to, I want, I want to get around. Uh, so that's it, very short. Um, it's a uh, it's, it's just part two of this whole thing that, that I've been uh, that I've done, um, and I being me, Miss T from the past, let's take the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.